So here is one of the um, paint cans that I got from the Paint God. And it's kind of like a, God, it's like a mocha color almost. And it's very nice. So I'm actually going to use this in a study just because I really like the color. <laughs> Hey guys, so I got this painted. Um, so this is just the first layer. This is just the base color. So it's that that mocha color, and then I picked a uh, green that came free also from the, the paint god. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let it. I'm gonna age it a little bit right now, and, and I'm gonna try to do some blood first, I think. So let's uh let's see how it looks after I play with this blood. Okay, look. guys. So I am making my walls bleed right now. Um, I don't want them to be that clean. Um, so yeah. Anyways, check it out. So this is what I'm doing, um, and I'll show you how to do it right now. It's basically just some blood splatter kind of effects making the walls look like they're bleeding. Um, so let's start a new spot over here, and I'll show you what we're doing. So just take your water. So you need a bottle of water, and then your paint on a brush. Okay, uh, just spray the water and on the wall, however you want. Um, it's okay that it drips. That's not a big deal. Then you take your paintbrush. Um, splotch it on there in whatever shape you want. Okay, you can see it already start to run uh, because of the water that's already on there. So that's exactly what you want because you don't want it to stick. And then you just take uh, your water bottle and you spray it on them, them and let it run. And then you get your little blood effect. So you spray my face, Dad. Oh, sorry, Brooklyn. There you go. There's a nice little splatter effect. So. There we go. So now you have a bloody wall. Looks like the wall is bleeding. So pretty cool. Pretty easy effect. Um, so just uh, like that one right here, I, I have too much. I don't have enough paint, so I'll go put more paint on there and fix that up. But um, overall, it looks pretty good. So here you see it. I have it on the actual corner of the frame. But it looks nice. So let me back up so you can see the wall. Um, and I don't know if I recorded earlier, but did I record the wall when I painted it today? I don't know, I can't remember. Oh well, anyways, guys, I painted the wall. <laughs> so we've got the brown with the blue, uh, the, or the greenish color, looking pretty cool, and I'm gonna blood her all up all the way around so it looks, you know, a little more spookier. So let me get back to work. Hey guys, so I um, kind of ran out of things to do in the back. Um, I have wood left, but I don't have any plastic with me. Um, and then, yeah, so anyways, what I decided to do was come out here and work on the entrance so um, I had to clean up some brush and then get ready to do the gate I'm gonna try to do the gate next weekend hopefully um, so check it out so uh, coming through the graveyard perspective you can see I have those bushes cleaned up and you remember Brooklyn's bridge was right there right remember that ghost girl on bridge video I made well I moved that bridge out of the way so now we can go ahead and give you guys the uh, point of view of where we're gonna be entering so it'll be pretty creepy coming through the graveyard into these bushes um, cleared out a lot of room um, all these trees are now out of the way and stuff so we can have a straight line as we walk through to this fence where that gate can you see it yeah that gate right there will be here um, shortly and this is how they're gonna get into the haunt from this side so pretty cool um, just a quick easy cleanup job and I want to show you what else I'm doing I'm doing the exterior lights since I figured I was out here anyways I might as well do the exterior lights now last year um, around Christmas time Steve uh, yard hunter 5 gave us all a good tip on uh, I believe it was Lowe's had these LED lights for 999 and they're actually really cool they're Christmas they came with two gels plastic gels red and green for like Christmas colors well I bought 10 of them um, and I did use them at Christmas lit the house up it looked really nice and they're gonna be perfect for the haunted house season so I don't know if I'm gonna go with like a purple a blue or like a red color yet probably red because of the Columbia Manor colors um, but let me show you what I'm doing so I have these lights um, and basically what they do is they, they stake into the ground so they're, they're hammered into the ground uh, they pivot and lock and you can see right here it's got the red gel on there so what I'm doing right now is I am stringing up all the lights so I've got one two right here I got another one right here three uh, and then as we come this way I've got two more I've got four and five strung up right here uh, and then I've got number six right here number seven is over here on the ground here so these two will aim at the garage and then as you look on the ceiling on the uh, roof so I got number 
see right there there's one there's one there and there's one there now I don't think this one right here in the middle I think I'm actually gonna take that one out because I just thought about it and although it look cool with like the three there and lighting up in between the uh, you know in between uh, the windows where the, where the two uh, hollow window videos will be playing I forgot I put my Columbia Manor uh, gobo right there so I can't do it light there so I'll have to restring that and plug those in and just have the two exterior ones and move that one somewhere else. So I totally forgot about my Columbia Manor Gobo. That's going to go up there. So um, I'm stringing it all up now. And when it gets darker tonight, when I get back from all my errands at the end of the day, I'm going to go ahead and test it, see what it looks like. Um, I don't have colors on them. I don't really care about the colors because I'm not going to use those plastic ones. I'm going to bring in some actual theater gels to um, to use on all the lights. So, so yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. It's just cleaning up. Got to mow the lawn and stuff. So I'll come back when it gets dark and show you guys what the exterior lighting looks like on the house. Should be pretty cool. Okay, so while I'm waiting for it to get dark, you can actually see the uh, the LEDs already, how bright they are and how, how much they light up. So these are uh, just two of the LEDs right here with no gels on, just white. So pretty freaking cool, very bright, and I'm hoping Lowe's has them again this year because I love these lights. Um, so anyways, here's the candy booth. Um, Honor, the, uh, the trick-or-treaters will have to come this way into this walkway and get candy from the candy booth. Um, regular people that want to go in the haunted house will go through the line and go through the, uh, you know, the graveyard. So, anyways, I um, want to show you guys the construction of this. I know there's a lot of new um, subscribers and viewers, so you may not have seen my uh, candy booth uh, last year. So, um, it's pretty cool. It's just a nice 2 by 3 frame, uh, MDF board painted, and, you know, carnival color stripes. Yellow um bulbs and let me show you what i did for that so um you can see i just pre-drilled a hole poked the base of the light bulb in and then screwed the bulb in around so it's nice and flush everything is nice and oh, look at that there's a spider on that one can you see it anyway so it's nice and flush everything is pretty um same thing on this side and it just kind of runs along the um the edge um and over the top and stuff so very cool, very easy design. I actually got these yellow bulbs from Lowe's also. They're like summer bulbs for like your patio, and so they were hella cheap on clearance. Um, black cloth back there, as you can see. Uh, a bunch of spider webs, so that's kind of cool. Um, black cloth, so that way we can be inside. And the um, the light around the candy is actually L-wire, um, the candy sign. So it's L-wire, you can see the, the controller, it's just a, a button. Uh, I actually got this from eBay for really cheap, so um, it can either strobe or it can be just on. So let me show you what it looks like just on, and let me know what you guys like better. So that's just on, pretty cool. Um, or the strobing, which was just a few seconds ago. So just rewind if you want to see what it was strobing, but um, let me know what you guys like better. But yeah, um, anyways, I just wanted to pull this out and test everything and make sure everything was working good still. Um, all the bulbs are good, the L wire is good, so I'm legit on this thing. I don't need to do anything to it except for put it out and put candy in there. So very cool, and I'm excited that I don't have to touch this prop. It's always good when a prop lasts all year long and nothing changes. So very cool stuff. So let me go ahead and, and uh, let me let it get a little bit more darker out because it's still daytime. But you can see how bright these are already. They're very cool light so I'll show you what the house looks like with everything all lit okay so the Sun is setting and here is a look at the front of Columbia Manor um, you guys haven't seen this for a while but um, I've got the blue up and I really really like the blue I mean look how cool that looks over there and that is gonna be the entrance over here where you're gonna walk into so um, there'll be more up there'll be a light on the tree I always do more lights there'll be lights in the graveyard of course all this will be the graveyard so there'll be more light than just that, but I think that depth of that blue looks sweet. Um, so going back to the front, you can see the green, the red, and then the green. Obviously that red won't be there. I'm going to turn that one off because I'll have Columbia Manor in the middle of there. There will be the videos going on up in the windows. Um, and then this blue is a blue theatrical gel that I actually just had lying around the house somehow. So kind of lucky. Um, it looks really good. Uh, but you can see the green and the uh, red, they're kind of dull. They're the plastic gel that comes with the uh, the lights when you buy them. So um, they're $9.99 at Lowe's. I'm hoping they'll have them again this this Christmas. Um, this one is just white right there. So you can see I just kind of left the, all the color options there available. Um, but I'm also going to try a deeper red maybe and see how that looks. 
So, I don't know, I think it looks good. Obviously that porch light in there is gonna be a flickering uh, porch light instead of that. So it won't be as bright. But coming in, it's gonna be kinda cool. Um, just coming in for the kids to trick or treat. It won't be that scary. Um, I have a black light here. I didn't take it down last year, but I, I'm probably gonna move it to the back just because I won't need it. I mean, this is there's gonna be plenty of light with the blue or red, um, and then the candy booth as well. So, and then the flickering light. So I think it's gonna be plenty, plenty bright. But um, let me walk over here. And so the entrance will be here. This is what I cleared out today. Um, entrance will be right there where the fence is, and that blue just looks so cool on the house in the uh, background of like these trees. So let me see if this will help any at all. I got the flashlight on to try to help you guys see the trees, but you'll enter here um, and you'll go to where that fence is. That's where the gate will be. So everything's nice and cleared out right now. Um, there'll be more light, obviously, so people can see where they're going. Um, along here, I'm gonna do pumpkins. Those, remember those pumpkins I got at the garage sale? I'm gonna do a string of those along the ground so they'll be able to see where they're going, but look how cool these blues look. And they just run up the house. Um, and I love them. God, these look so cool. So I might stick with this blue on the house. I just think it looks really cool. What do you guys think? Um, I'll try red again also later when I get some red gel, but God, I'm really liking the color on that blue. It just looks so, so cool. So yeah, anyways, I'm testing out the lights. Just want to make sure everything is run. I'm, you know, like I said, I ran out of wood and things to do in the back. So might as well figure, pull out the lighting and get all this done right now. And so trees are cleared lighting is up on the house so all that's done um just got to figure out what gels i want to do now so it's really really simple stuff so um yeah so that's kind of it for now guys i'm just uh you know just doing things little by little trying to get it done i think the back is gonna it's gonna get done a lot quicker than than i thought so um i'll probably work on the side yard a little bit too because like i said i don't want to kill my grass completely so i'll go a little bit slower back there but i can get the side done um, I gotta get the dig gate done. So I mean, there's still lots of things that I can be doing um, while I'm waiting, like you know, a week or two to to finish the back. So um, okay, so that's it, guys. So lighting, the wall panels, the bloody wall panels. So kind of kind of just little things going on here and there, um, but still going. So all right, so that's all for now. I will see you guys later.